So last night I was checking my labs and when I saw that my kidney function had improved again, I had to like do my little victory dance <laughs> because I was able to scroll back and see like where I came from, like all the way back. So scroll back to April, <laughs> I think this was like April 9th or 10th of 2018, right after I had moved back here and my kidney function, my creatinine was um, over a nine, which basically means like I was in an active kidney failure. And then I just so happened to scroll a little further back than that and I saw my labs from when I was here in college. And right before I graduated in 2008 with my bachelor's and master's, my kidney function was around a three, which was almost <laughs> kidney failure. Or I shouldn't say kidney function, my creatinine was almost around a three. And so, um, God just really like ministered to me in that moment, reminded me that he can use everything. And in fact, he has used my kidney transplant. He's used me talking about it and how my kidney function has improved from different things that I've been doing, drinking more water, of course, um, incorporating um, the raw female tonic as part of that because of um, all of the uh, cranberries, which are really good for your kidney. Um, and also just overall being more conscious of the foods I eat, like making sure that if I am eating animal sources of protein, that it's coming from organic sources, that it's ethically sourced, it's not full of hormones and things like that. Eating more fruits and vegetables, of course, like, and a major key to that has been me having uh, the Herbalife shakes because I add tons of fruit to my shakes every day, just because I wanna make sure I'm giving my body what it's supposed to have. And so I just, I just was taken aback and in awe of God, how he has used my transplant to be able to encourage other people who may be suffering from things that I've been dealing with. Um, he's used uh, my journey as far as tech is concerned to be able to encourage other people. Like I found earlier today, I was looking for my, um, my Delta Prolate DVD and I found in this box I have of all the birthday cards, all the cards I've received since I graduated from college. And I found an article that my boss, my then boss had clipped of me uh, teaching teachers um, the STEM curriculum I had learned. And I didn't think that me back in 2010 doing that would translate to me now uh, having been volunteering with Black Girls Code for almost three years, well, for three years. And so it's just so amazing to me how God will use everything and how it all connects back to his purpose for us. Me being able to teach kids and, and adults about tech and specifically about software engineering and coding is something that's part of the grand vision that God gave me as a as a means of providing financial healing, especially in our community. Because with tech, you can get into tech without having gone to college. And um, I've mentored, I've tutored, I've worked for boot camps. Um, of course, I've mentored, you know, from a collegiate perspective, having been a college graduate. But I've also, I've done both sides. And God used me teaching tech classes back in 2010 and 2011, which brought me to where I am now. God used um, just me talking about um, grieving and forgiving to be an encouragement to other people. And I just, I'm grateful that God has used everything that I've experienced. Like, <laughs> it's so easy to get stuck in the minutia, in that very specific instance of where you are. Like it's easy to get stuck in that pain. It's easy to get stuck in that hurtful space. But if you give it to God, God can turn it into something beautiful. And it makes me think about oh, Isaiah 61. And one of the verses says that God will give you beauty for ashes. Um, 
if you're familiar with the Bible, it talks about during times of mourning that people would tear their clothes, put on sackcloth and put ashes on um, as a, a sign of mourning. And that beauty is you're taking off your mourning and putting on beauty. And I just think about how God has taken those very painful things for me. Um, having to have a transplant at 23, losing my dad to, to cancer uh, before I turned 25. Um, a lot of other situations that have happened since then. Um, my law school career ending abruptly in 2017 after... Um, only having a year left to finish, being able to use my experience to encourage other people to go back to school. And it's just, it's so amazing because you never know who is paying attention to you, who is watching you and who is watching your journey. So I think the bottom line here that I was supposed to share is share your testimony. Be your authentic self, be your genuine self. So if that means you're quirky or you feel like you're weird or whatever the case may be, because I feel like I fall into all of those categories, be yourself because you never know who God is trying to reach through you. Um, one thing I really love about a sermon series that they preached, I think it was last year at Transformation Church, um, is who's the minister here? It's basically saying that we, we are the ministers. And I... I read a lot of devotions and one of the things that has been an undercurrent in many of the devotions is that the way we live our lives may be the only bible that other people sees and so all i want to say and reiterate is that god will use everything he will use all of your hurt your pain your suffering uh the struggles the the long waits that you've had he will use it to minister to somebody and to draw someone closer to him he will use it to show that because you went through it and you walked alongside him, someone else can trust him to walk alongside them to get through it as well. And I'm just so full spiritually right now because it, it really brought, brought comfort to me to know that everything, the hurt, the pain, the loss, the sense of loss that I felt um, in a lot of those areas, that God has used those things, that God has taken the heart and um, transformed it. Like um, if you're familiar with the book, The Alchemist, um, alchemy talks about transforming one thing into another thing. And basically that's what God does. God will take our offering of our hurt, our pain, our suffering, our testimony and turn it into something else. It He will turn our testimony into encouragement for someone else. He'll turn it into a, because they did it, I can do it too. He'll turn it into whatever we give him the freedom to turn it into. And I'm just really grateful because I remember sitting in the midst of those hurts, sitting in the midst of that pain and feeling like, is this ever going to go away? Feeling like, am I ever going to get past this situation? Feeling like, why did this have to happen to me to now be on the other side and say that I'm okay with it, God, because you got me through it. It helped me to, to be prepared for so many things. And as a result of trusting you, everything that I've prayed about, everything that you put on my heart to do or pursue, I've been able to achieve. And so I don't want to ramble no more. <laughs> uh, and I don't want to cry again. So Give God your hurt, your pain, your suffering, your struggles, because you don't understand. Like, you can't even fathom what he could turn it into. And I, I, I'm i just really grateful. <laughs> and I don't know what else to say because I'm going to ramble. So I'm going to call it a night. Bye. Oh. <laughs>